Anyways, here we are. Welcome, everyone, to the uh, Nash to the American Conference Championship game. We're supposed to have gone to us last week, so I get the season done by July 4th, but I don't think I obviously like, can't do that now. Anyways, winner of this game goes to the Arena Bowl, and if Tampa, and, and again, this is between 8 and 6 Tampa, and 12 and 2 Jacksonville. Jacksonville swept Tampa during the regular season. Don't really have much to say about this, but just that. I'm going to keep the volume off. Yeah. Here we are, two, three games left, three games left. Yeah, this is the third, three games left in the season, and my controller got disconnected. <laughs> Lovely. Haven't heard the batters up forever, haven't played the game in a while, so this might be a little rusty. And by the way, I picked the Austin's home arena, because I know the default, like, the default creative team arena isn't curved, but I know that the Sharks would have had a curved end zone, and no, no, by the way, the default, the creative team, you're always going to get just the, just the default team name and their colors on a black end zone, and that's all you get. Team city name and colors on a black end zone, so there you go, Jacksonville, that's the end zone. Or way to start the game, and about 15 yards. By the way, Tampa Bay got, again, they got swept by Jacksonville 3-0 in the season series. Tampa Bay only had one win against Jacksonville, because back in 20x, the two teams played twice, and Tampa Bay split that series in the to win the division title in the final game on a last-second TT to a touchdown catch. Now TT is on the, now TT is on the, uh, that's touchdown. Now TT is on the Sharks, and that's an immediate touchdown from uh, Pat O'Hara, Jonathan Orway. Didn't get to introduce Tampa Bay before I got their first points. will be good. Now Tampa Bay's up 7-0 on the Sharks. By the way, currently including their playoffs, including their playoff thing, Jacksonville is 13-2 after their first round win over Orlando, and Tampa Bay is 9-6 after their first round win over Albany. In the American Conference. In the National Conference, the winner will, will play Spokane or Chicago. Chicago was six and eight. They were the only losing team in the playoff. They beat nine. They beat nine and five Grand Rapids in their first playoff game, and uh, spoke and Spokane beat eight seven seven Arizona in their first playoff game. They blew out the Rattlers, by the way, and that's a Dutton to Hopkins. How you, you sidearm sidearm overthrow Hopkins? Now it's second down and ten for the Sharks. By the way, I don't think you can even hear me. I realize my phone quality isn't good for getting things, so I'm going to try to do a different recording method, a less good recording method, but it's worth a shot, and that's incomplete. By the way, uh, for MVP for the season, I haven't actually decided on one yet. <laughs> Probably going to be the Dutton. And uh, wow, speaking of Dutton, the R after Yoko MVP on his overthrows, or is he very wide open? That would have been an easy touchdown, but Steve Smith couldn't haul it in. And again, this is a different Steve Smith than the one, you, oh, I guess it's Hine now, but uh, it's a different Steve Smith than the one that was catching for the Panthers and Ravens throughout this, the real life period this game took place in the, two, the late 2000s, the mid 2000s, and then the 2010s. There's something there to hop into that touchdown. 89's not going to catch up in time. Touchdown. Jacksonville, that's 7-7 seven, seven now after the great, after one for three passing. One touchdown, and again, I'm just going to let the clock, and I'm just going to let the, oh, shoot. I'm just going to let the clock uh, run down, like, all on extra points, because I'm actually, little, i got to go work in an hour, a little more than an hour, so it takes me about an hour to get ready for work, including, you know, getting the uniform on, walking there, because like, I don't have a car, I don't have a license. I, uh, so it takes me about an hour to get to work, and, well, work's about an hour and a half away, and this game takes about 40 minutes normally, so a little behind. Which took about 15 minutes to get to work, but still. I want to sometimes be able to sit down and eat something. Because I haven't eaten anything today. And your point's good. And then when I get back home tonight, I will record the rest of the game and upload record the second game, Spokane Chicago, and then upload this one. By the way, happy 7 7, everybody. Happy 7 7. Oh, right, supposed to play Tampa's, uh, I forgot, sorry, I always, because of the, I always forgot, I gotta play Tampa's offense now. So, next drive, I'll, next, uh, Tampa drive, I'll play, I'll make the first play as, 
Yeah, next Tampa drive, I'll make the first. That's your chance to introduce everybody on defense. Ladano, Kraus, Tolliver, Parker, Freisel, Dukes. Oh, shoot. Uh, the other guy, by the way, was a Fleming on Jacksonville's defense. And for Tampa's offense, the all-linemen are also on the next play with Samuels. Wardway and receiver defense back 87 from the Red Dogs. He's a creative player with the exact same attributes as the player on the New Jersey Red Dogs, the historic team, and then Pat O'Hare, quarterback, and Sharon Pearson, number 98, the uh, fullback, which is usually just a fourth blocker in most scenarios, although not all scenarios. Incomplete right there for uh, for O'Hare up to, to 87 on the short pass. Let's get a different play. Let's play an easy pick. That's a play an easy pick. I was picking up the same two or three plays because they're at the top of the order. And again, they, every team has the exact same playbook. Every team is the exact same playbook. I'm actually here telling you, I'm actually going to count how many plays are there next time. I'm actually going to care about that. That's a bad pass right there, and Hopkins intercepts it. Oh, I forgot, the second play is have his defense is play to make up for the bad, to make up for Axe Line playing as Jacksonville's defense in the beginning of the last drive. Right, so P Tampa's secondary, Tampa's OG LD94, for also some of the Red Dogs, create a player, same as attributes of the player from the Red Dogs, Rod Williams, BJ Cohen, receiver, is that right to do? So, shoot, shoot, shoot. Okay, he didn't go to him. Did I, did I, okay, make sure I did change. And then, by the way, the other defensive backs were uh, Mason, Damon, Damon Mason, and, uh, and of course, Yori Saul Samuels, and, the, and Yori Saul, and the other, yeah, Yori Saul, all their guys, and, and Freddie Saul, and then, uh, yeah, Freddie Saul, I mean, we actually had a receiver in 21XX, I just swapped their positions, because I realized that Ordway had really fast speed, and the easiest play in the game is, well, the, stri this, the streak with the receiver. With a fast receiver, touchdown, and by the speaking of touchdown, speaking of his fast receiver, Steve Smith with the touchdown right there. Jacksonville's going to go up 14-7 on Tampa, and Jacksonville will get the ball back in the second half, and I think I'm just going to let this one be the last play of the first quarter. Yeah, this is going to be the last play of the first quarter. By the way, I got lightsabers. These little white lightsabers, the, you know, this little thing. I mean, um, I'm going to turn my finger to a, my thumb. And even though that obviously be the late game, I don't really mind. I mean, again, this is no late game penalty in this. Like, I turn penalties off, so I'm just going to kick this extra point. And there'll be a 14-7 end to the first quarter. Why did he miss? Uh, no, it's still, it's still made. It's still made. It's pretty hard to actually... It's funny. It's actually easier to miss an extra point when you're trying to make it than it is when you're not caring. Uh, yeah, because, I mean, there's always... You can easily just, you know... I'll show off the next touch on the numbers to Tampa. Yeah, you can, by the way, you cannot switch to a team mid-play before a play, and after a play, you can switch controllers to, like, what team you're using. And that was shanked on, that was shanked because I hit, I hit some the wrong way. Anyways, uh, Tampa gets the ball back. Down 14-7 with no positional advantage. And I turned the audio off in the game because I don't like game audio, I just, I just don't. It's funny, I just don't like game audio. <laughs> because, I mean, even the audio is just generic grunts and, uh, and, like, first down for the player. The PA announcer. My game at this time, even like in football games, like the announcers are always really stilted. Like 2K is the only kind of get right, but the end, 2K5 and 2K8, uh, because they had like a ton of crazy amount of lines. But then instead of using real announcers, they use uh, fake, they use like just two made up announcers. Like, what the fuck are you announcer for in 2K5? Like, I know, I know Madden, they always had, of course, John Madden until he retired. And then, and then they switched to, uh, who was the other guy that had it? Uh, it was Chris Collinsworth for a while. And I think now he's Charles Davis. I, don't, I haven't had played a Madden game since Madden 11. And I once played my brother's copy of Madden 13. That was literally one time, like 10 years, like 5 years ago. So I don't really remember it. Anyways, um, yeah. 14-7. Not to say here. I heard going to drop back and chuck this thing. I'll throw a 5 on short to get some yards. I think this is... Wait, what? <laughs> Oh, oh, it's fourth. I didn't even realize it was fourth down. I thought that was third. <laughs> I thought that was third down. <laughs> I thought that was third down. And I have to get some yards and set up an easier fourth down or a field goal or something. I am an idiot. I am an idiot. You know what? Just for that, I'm going to... I don't know. I'll be fine. Oh, that was stupid. That was stupid. And though that works. I guess it's not MVP. Well, it'll be MVP. I assume that'd be one of the four teams that left. Hamilton, maybe? No, he's been really unremarkable. I don't know who MVP. I really don't know who MVP would be. I honestly don't. Well, I, I know I don't think leagues that might have an MVP, but hey, I know who player of the game is at least. I mean, 
It could be Matt Bailey, not Harrell, because the team went to the Super Bowl winning season. No fucking Albert is all that. I guess Dutton just by default because he's the, the best, the starting quarterback on the twelve and two team. I guess Dutton. Let's just go with Dutton. MVP Dutton. And touchdown the sidearm. That was that was that was a missile. By the way, Dutton's actually the cover boy in the game. So yeah, you go. Let's look at that missile. <whistles> Whips into the end zone. No one else can get it. Touchdown. Greg Hopkins is. I think that's his second touchdown. Yeah, Greg Hopkins and everything. Okay, well, player of the game is definitely gonna be Greg Hopkins. I think that's his third touchdown. No, no, no. I think Tolliver had. I think Tolliver had one. I would like to make sure Tolliver gets at least one. Just because he's my favorite player ever. Alright. Uh, I'll go Tampa Bay. Back to Tampa Bay, and I will. I didn't even realize it was four down. <laughs> oh, man. That kick is deep, and it is going to go out of bounds. By the way, in the NAL, the currently the Sharks are in, that play would be. A, a, a yeah, two point a two point extra point called the deuce. Something the IFL just added in this year. Yeah, I'm still trying to merge the NAL. It's possible. Kind of stupid. I mean, the IFL. Then again, the NAL was merging the. Okay. Then again, the IFL was more than I mean, not the, the NAL. The NAL was more than happy to merge with the CIF before that deal got shut down because Derek Harper being whiny, his whiny media. I mean, I'm sure there's a bunch of other things, but still. Yeah, it's not a merger if you kill the merger. Mm. That would have been great. I think that would have like, even gotten Amazon Prime. Like, that was like Amazon's big sports thing. It was going to be huge for me in football, but no, 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 egos, egos. We have egos that Massachusetts Pirates don't want that, so wah, we don't want to be there because it's travel. And the main mammoths are like, but we can because travel. Uh, I really, I, again, I'm sure there was a bunch of other factors and just Massachusetts going wah, but. That was a big one, Masters going wah. Uh, yeah. All right, we're about to hit the one minute warning. I'll, I'll give Tampa a one minute warning play. That'll make it stupid. Mm, we'll give him one one minute warning play. They may not need it though. Or wait. Let me try to. Uh, yeah, the exact I just call the guy play Yost because it's just generic play. I don't really care. Just whatever. It's, 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 it's got a good spread route. Got your long route. Got your deep route. Your short route. And your and your, and your uh, break route in case you run man. They got zone. You got short route. You got they. Okay, well that's not working. There you go. That's all trying. Oh, and Lawrence Hamels dropped. It was supposed to be an easy touchdown catch for him. Lovely. Lovely. My guy could have cold. What caught that? I'm kind of curious. <laughs> oh, I see. Fries will hit him. Okay. I was wondering what it was. And I don't want to exactly play again, because sure, why not? Actually, you know what? Our audible is a running play. Man, that, that all worked lovely. Yeah, when that, when, 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 for some reason in that play, sometimes the defensive line just doesn't go blocked. I don't know what it is with the play, they just don't go blocked in that run play sometimes. Like I said, I'll give Tampa a one play to do this before I switch back to Jacksonville. Incomplete. Oh, I, I, think I, th I think I over-aimed the bullet. Okay, I see how I over-aimed it. And now playing as Jacksonville's defense because we're in the one-minute warning and Tampa is going to play it safe with a field goal. Okay. Well, since the first five seconds of the first quarter, this game has been nothing. The PAT size field goal is good. Tampa Bay will take eight. It's only down by uh, 11 points now. So it's a touchdown, two pointer. Touchdown, two pointer, and a field goal. But again, Jackson has the ball now. And Jackson has the ball to start the second half. So the Sharks are a massive advantage to be hosting the Arena Bowl. And that will take to a right past midfield for Jacksonville. And by the way, if Jacksonville wins, that guarantees we have two new combatants in the Arena Bowl. Because you know, 20XX Arena Bowl was at Arizona and Grand Rapids. Grand Rapids won. And 21XX Arena Bowl was Tampa Bay, Grand Rapids, and Tampa Bay won. And Grand Rapids already lost. Arizona already lost in the first round of the National Conference. That's not a sack somehow. And I tried to bolt that to A, but I got immediately stopped. Was that Friesel? No, Jimmy Friesel, by the way, is, uh, was a starting receiver for the... Is, is that Friesel? No, it's not Friesel. He's a backup. Uh, I guess third string? Third string. Okay, third string offensive specialist for the Sharks, but he feels like a defensive back. I don't know. He also has a good kicking staff for some reason. I don't know why. You guys ever done that, by the way? Done the, fine, done the, done the uh, franchise mode in a Madden? 
or like any sports game really, and just like I guess football games too. But we just find that that random player who's somehow a punter who's like really good at a punter for no reason. Like I said, I remember in Madden 10, it was like I was Terrence Westby. We always went undrafted, and that's pick off. That side on got picked off by there by Pearson. Pearson's by the way. Anyways, that's what I was saying. Uh, you look at that. You look at that play. It's like a. I think he was a he was a he was a cornerback. I remember this. He was a cornerback, and. He was like an 85 overall cornerback. Decent enough. And then you put him at punt, and then suddenly he's a punter, and he's like a 92 overall punter. What? I mean, no sense. But hey, whatever. I mean, I, was, he was, I didn't even like have the scout thingy on him. Just, just randomly, eh, whatever. He's the... All right, I just did the last pick of the draft. I always take last pick in a franchise mode just because I always trade for Trade some 55 overall guy or like a... Or just trade down whenever my seventh round pick is to whoever won the Super Bowl that year in the franchise mode or just doing... But has anyone actually done that, by the way? Uh, actually finished the franchise mode other than me. I, mean, I did it once with the Saints. I think I had to relocate to Bolsom. No, no, no. I forgot what it was. I think, no, it wasn't Birmingham. No, no, right, right, right. I was thinking, I was thinking of a different one I did with the Rams. I only did that with like five seasons that I got bored. Uh, anyways. By the way, there's a franchise mode here, but since there's no draft, it's extremely basic. It's just trades, free agency, and, uh, and by the way, it's not like get ridiculous in this one. Like, they, like, they get ridiculous. Yeah. Anyways, fourth down and six. Tampa Bay's going to go for it this time instead of going for the field goal. I'm not paying attention to this game at all. And Duke's in the blitz. That's going to force them. That was even got, even if that was completed, that would not have gone far enough. Twenty-one to ten. Guess who still leads? That's right. Uh, Jet Tampa Jacksonville. Twenty-one ten. And I might just go for the field goal. I might just run like point two plays and go for a field goal attempt with one second on the clock. And end the first half with that. That didn't work. Tolliver on the short pass. Trying to get Tolliver short just to get just to get something to get in range. Let me find a play I don't need to play. All right, all right, uh, ugh. Yeah, I should all try a tight end screen. The only time I can even find tight end screens that work is if you have a fat, as you have like Silas Damari, who's like one of the fastest tight end, fastest. And again, these guys are just lining, by the way. Tight end. Well, you never see like in real, like in real life, of course, you see time, but like the tight, with the, let me just toss that, toss that. Yeah, oh, that worked. Holy cow, that worked. Oh my gosh, I got yards. I've never actually gotten positive yards with that. <laughs> that was beautiful. I gotta replay that. I'm sorry. I gotta replay that. You get the you get that quarterback with the standard 25 yard drop. You always take in football games, unless except for 2K, because you know they punish you for that. They got the blockers in the screen, and look at that slow fat guy running the screen for a first. Even broke a tackle and got a first. All right, I'm just gonna wait to the one second mark and then call a timeout and get a field goal. Four, three, two, timeout, and now we're just gonna kick a field goal to take a 14 point lead at the end of the first half, assuming I'm gonna make this kick. And because Jackson lost the toss, they will start with the ball in the second half. Kick it up. And it is good. So 24 10 is the halftime score. I always skip the weird the weird the cheerleading cutscene because it's just kinda weird. Again, it's it's PS2, Xbox era era, so I just skip that, blah blah blah. And we'll go back to the game. And hey look, we're already back. And again, on my on my newer phone, you'll actually be able to hear me talking. More than just this small murmur. And by the way, if you're ever watching these videos, turn your volume up. Just just do it. I'm not gonna play like random screamo music or uh, what was it? What was the thing they used? Oh, uh, I forgot. I first started up ACM in 2011. I can't remember what it was. Like they just randomly. Like, ah! That was it was a jump scare. That's what I was thinking of. Jump scare. I don't know why I'm thinking of that chicken sound or me a jump scare, but hey, chicken sound equals jump scare. Chicken scare. And that side R. Nope, and incomplete. Another, uh, that's actually yeah. We'll go with that one. Loop shake. Okay, they do it. My boy Tolliver out there. I, I, I'll make sure Chief Tolliver gets at least one touchdown catch. At least one. Only the five. As soon as he makes that break, link it to X. He'll always outspeed the guy, and because Chief Tolliver is one of the fastest players in the game, he will easily. Well, okay, he got, he got caught because he bumped into his other receiver, but you get the idea. Six for sixteen, three. Yeah, that's a, that's a typical me performance when it comes to this game. Less than fifty percent passing. It's half my passes are touchdowns, though. That's usually what I do in these games. Even like in like like even in like the, the NFL style games, I still do that. Where like the less than fifty percent passing and all my passes are touchdowns. Mm. Actually, I thought, why do they not play NFL in smaller football on smaller field? I would have been a lot cheaper. I mean, this is cheaper than the NFL, even with that net thing. Tolliver. Uh, got about first, first down. Heck, arena football should have been the main football. For, I mean, just because of how small it is, it's cheaper, it's compact. It would have been like, I mean, 
I think one of those. No, no one of the sports uses soccer. Soccer uses the big deal. Okay, soccer uses the big deal, but nobody cares about that. Like, oh, baseball. Right, baseball. I forgot baseball. Yeah, baseball uses a big field. Sorry, Pops to Hopkins. I'm just going to throw it out of bounds. Fourth down. Uh, Jackson's up by two. I feel like we'll make a three-possession game, but I'm actually going to run it here with Chad Dukes. I'll just hope that uh, for whatever reason, Sharp, I mean, for reason 97th Cohen right there, does get blocked by Sharp. He gets blocked by Sharp. That's an easy first. Right? Yeah, okay. Even, even with Sharon Pearson being the second fastest, actually the third fastest uh, fullback linebacker in the game behind uh, Dan Alexander on Orlando, who was a national in the original game, and Chad Dukes, who was originally on... Um, Originally on, uh, I forgot what it was, uh, Philadelphia in the original game, and now he's on Jacksonville because he's the fastest receiver linebacker in the game. Pass it up to Tolliver. Touchdown to Tolliver. Jacksonville will now take a 21-point lead on Tampa Bay. They look to go for the four sweep. And again, Tampa Bay versus Jacksonville, 0-4. Oh versus the rest of the league, 9-2. With their only losses coming against Albany, coming against Spokane and Orlando. And Tampa sweep Albany one? Tampa did sweep out there. I'm trying to think. Yeah, because I'm Tampa went 2 1. Yeah, oh, wait, no. No, no, not 1 4. I'd be after the game. Okay, yeah, that'd be, be 8 and, 9 and 3 against the rest of the league. 8 and 4. I mean, 0 and 3 against Jacksonville. That's Tampa Bay this year. Yeah, that's what I was thinking of. And that is a down to 15 goes Tampa. And now, with only half the third minute to go and only 10 points scored in the day, I'm finally taking over for the Tampa Bay Storm again for the first time in the second half because that long Jacksonville drive. And I didn't wait on that punch like I would. Oh, well. Okay, never play tight coverage. Never play tight coverage. I don't... I, 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 the CPU did it, it's just, like, easy touchdown. Especially with Orwick, because he's a fat... And Orwick's defensive back. I didn't even change his ability. He's defensive back. He's, like, a 73 overall. Okay, well, uh, O'Hara overthrew him. But that would have been an easy touchdown. I had O'Hara not. The ball a tiny bit less. That would have been an easy touch score. And by the, for some reason, I think they, they actually changed the AI so that it's much easier to catch the ball in the end zone versus catching the ball on the field. It's, you know, usually it's going to be the other way around because you can try to hit harder on the other, on, on the end zone. But then, then I don't know. Anyways, like, something I noticed that with catching is that like, receivers seem to get a boost when they when you throw the ball in the end zone to make sure they catch it rather than dropping the ball in the end zone, which happens sometimes. You just saw earlier with the uh, Lawrence Samuels play, but it doesn't happen very often. And like I'm going for four down Tampa because they're they're down by so much at this point they need it and overthrows. Wow, Pat O'Hara is overthrowing everything. Player of the game is probably going to be Greg Hopkins, by the way. I got it. Oh, I call the same play again. I'm calling the exact same play again. Yeah, I'm calling the exact same play. Oh, wait, I forgot. Road team has my audible, the road audibles. Oh, which is hell, man. There's the same play as the offense. Never mind. Okay. Oh, I could get that pass off in time. That's turnover. That is turn. I tried to get that pass off to Samuels in time in the end zone, but I, I just couldn't do it because he was too far. I got sacked with five other Sharks defenders. All right, Tampa. Jacksonville's going to take an even bigger lead here on Tampa. 31 to 10 is the score right now, and it's about to be 31, 38 to 10 uh, after the next two or three plays. The pass is tall for short. You'll get about 5, 10 yards. Try to make the spin in time, but Samuel's caught up. That's down to the five. By the way, it's funny thing. Uh, uh, T.T. Tolliver actually outlasted Lord Samuels' as coach. I think T.T. Tolliver played for, like, what, 20 years? I, I think T.T. Tolliver holds the records for most... No, no, Garcia, right, right. Garcia holds the, the records for most arena football games played. All right, that is a touchdown right there for um, Jackson, for Chad Dukes. And, and again, I'm going to let the clock run down till the zero... To, to, so not all zeros, but to at least the, to, 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 until the play clock is close to zero. I'll stop at, like, five or something, just to make just to make up for that just to make up for that thing in the early first, in the, at the end of the first half. All right, again, 37-10 is the score. Tampa Bay, the Sharks lead Tampa. All right, now. And that's an extra point right there for Schmitz. That's an extra point. He probably hit it with his heel, but whatever. 38-10, Jacksonville leads. Tampa Bay would need a miracle to come back from this. Best, I mean, 28-point comeback with half the... It's possible. It's possible. I mean... New York did it in the first game, or the first game, twenty one XX over Albany, but it's just not possible. It's not like in a playoff game. I actually never track playoff comebacks. I never, yeah, I've never tracked playoff comebacks. Just regular season comebacks. I think somebody, I think, oh, what was it? The floor? No, what's the floor one? I was, I was wire to wire Orlando. I think it was one of the first round in twenty XX. Somebody, I think, yeah, I remember what it was. No, the Rattlers went wire to wire on Albany. Oh no, that's what it was, right? It was the Rattlers on Albany, and that touch, that's pass. Caught by Ordway, easy six right there because he just he's just so fast. Jonathan Norway, fastest player in the game. 
touchdown. That will end the and that will absolutely end the third quarter. Thirty-eight to seventeen, Tampa Bay. Jacksonville will lead because I'll make sure that I'll even do the cheap extra point. By the way, this is the cheap extra point. You just hold the right thumbstick back, and really, and just hold it back. You're gonna get a really low power kick, but it's a guaranteed PAT every time. Just hold it straight back. Don't let go, and you're good. And the game wants me to do onside kick, so I will do onside kick. By the way, I think I don't remember how to do onside kick normal. I think it's well, well like look at the exact amount. I know you want to aim it up a little bit up, like if, if, if the penalty's on, because you're trying to be a bounce back, and you can't like aim it up or down. You just tilt it a little bit. I think I want seventy something. Yeah, I want seventy four. I think sixty four four. Let's see how this goes. Bounce. Doesn't take a good bounce. Tyson Tolliver just scooped it up anyways. I'm hoping to take like, like sometimes, sometimes you get like ridiculous like crazy bounces just because the weird physics in this game again it's not the same as the madden physics from the same era or even the ncaa physics in the same era it's just kind of they're kind of weird and wonky i don't know how to describe it but, oh that's not gonna go well and i try to throw that pass to Tolliver to get for the easy six but no because i was i always try to run out of the pocket to do get more room hasn't worked like that in this one. You gotta have pocket presence, which is something I do not have in these games, which is why you'll never see me on like some Evo football tournament, whatever stage. I'm just not that good at these kind of games. I'm mean, good at them because I play them, but not that, not like super good. And that's picked off right there by Tampa because I didn't even see him coming. Picked off right there. That's gonna be a touchback. Tampa Bay starts their comeback with about three and a half minutes to go in the fourth. Is something still recording, right? Please tell me you are still recording. Are you still recording? Okay, good. You're still recording. There's Tim Markham's angry face. All right. Yeah, I don't know about the camera, but whatever. You can't even, if you can't even see the game, wait. Oh, yeah. You will write more than we will see the game. Well, well my narrate. Hopefully, you can hear my narration. Maybe three minutes. Three minutes of Tampa. Are you kidding me? With the short coverage again. Yeah, this is touchdown. Or you stop. Or he presses our way. Samuel's in the short. Samuel stumbles and gets to a... About midfield. Oh, okay, a little bit. Yeah, about midfield. That's what I was saying. Let me call a different play this time. Yeah, we'll call your flats. We'll call this play. Oh, I have negative rushing yards. I'm gonna fix that. I'm gonna fix that at some point. Maybe right now. I don't really expect. It. Nobody expects the first down rushing play in arena football. Yeah, we'll do that. We'll do that. Hopefully, yeah. Okay, I get two yards. All right. Yeah, you go. I get my two. I get my positive two yards right there to get back to zero. I don't like having negative yards rushing. I know it's kind of pointless to do that stuff on a championship game when you're down by 27, but whatever. I mean, down by 21, but whatever. All right, I'm going to try a bar ball. I was like, this game is not bar ball. I think bar ball only program in Hail Mary, which kind of stinks, but whatever. No, nope, that what on the... Okay. <laughs> what? <laughs> what did that bounce off of? That bounce... Okay. Let me see. Oh, it bounced off the curve. It bounced off the invisible wall over the curve. That's funny. <laughs> well, Tampa Bay's got a touchdown. Orway's got his third. 24 to 38. Oh, my goodness. That was great. That killed me. Blah. I'm dead now. And, yeah. All right. Tampa Bay's down by 14. The game says onside. I'll go to the onside again. But, again, I'm not going to do the cheap onside. I'll, I'll do one with Jacksonville if they get up. Like if Jacksonville gets in a touchdown, I'll do it just because, hey. Whatever. I think I, I always show it off the, the cheap ball again. This little bit. Let me try 73. That's probably too far. Yeah, that did not go 10 yards. And it also, it also didn't matter. As ben Roth got it. Like, ideally, what you want is a bounce thing. But you're not going to get a big bounce unless it hits the wall. But the second it hits the wall, it's counted out of bounds. Because for some reason, they've out of bounds in this game. Even though I know you don't realize we're in the football. And I have Jacksonville defensive play. So I'll just run Sharon Pearson. And yeah, Jacksonville, if they get a touchdown on this, I'll do the cheap on side. And just count that. The cheap on side just because... If they get a touchdown, if they get a field goal, I'm not going to keep on side. But oh, okay, right. And oh, Dutton, nope. Dutton got stopped, and then on the QB sneaker. QB sneaker. Uh, okay. My dad's complaining at a cat. I don't know if you can hear. That. I don't think you can. If you can't hear me, you can hear that. But my dad's complaining at the cat, and that's going to be no. Right, because I need something like Michael Fisher to do that, because of the coverage. Anyways, they're down to three. I'm going to call the exact same play. Actually, I'm going to call the run play again. Yeah, I think that's all of our guys touch on. That's all I care about for Jacksonville. They're up. The running play would actually make a lot of sense. Is the clock still running? It's 210. Oh, it is a run. Okay. Yeah, I'll wait. There's the, the one minute one. I'll just wait till it gets to the clock. It's just to uh, one second and run the uh, Duke's run to the side before getting a field goal.
Dukes is in. Touchdown, Chad Dukes. And again, I don't think Tampa is going to stop with a timeout. 154, you're just under 130. All right. And again, I'll just wait to the last second on this one. And then I will do the cheap on side. Because no, I know for a fact there's no way you come back from this. Even if I was a place to... Especially with Tampa being the road team in this case. Yeah, especially with Tampa being the road team in this case. And them being down a play. There, there, there's no way I would... There's no way this comeback would happen. Yeah, I'm going to start that extra point. Extra point will be good at about one, a little under a minute and a half left. And I'm, again, it's cheating. I don't care. I'll be the cheap, the cheap on side just to show off what I mean by that. And it's ten power, like ten. And this time you just hold it in the direction facing you. So that's why it's stick down. Actually, wait. It's still that bag. This only happens when you turn penalties off. But bag have that ball go like two inches, and then easy recovery. Landry's gonna get it. And then I'll just run the ball at Jacksonville, and that should end the game here. A quick run with the Sharks. Oh, yeah, Tampa's not going to stop it. So we're going to go to the one-minute warning after this. Uh, you know, I'll, I'll, I'll run one play and call a timeout if I don't get positive yards to make it count. I got positive yard, I think. Let's see, did I get positive yards? N eh, whatever, not enough positive. I'll just, I'll just call a timeout there to make it even. Yeah, I mean... Again, okay, they're down by they're down they're down by Tampa Bay is down by twenty one only twenty four all day. The only thing I really do is see if I can try to get Lawrence Samuel's touchdown catch just because. But beyond that, that's about it. All right, yeah, now I'm definitely just gonna go. There. I'm just gonna go down to the one minute warning. Tent, uh, with one minute to go in the national in the American Conference Championship game, Jacksonville's up twenty one on Tampa, going for the four sweep, for the complete four game sweep of the season on Tampa, like eight game sweep for Florida as they head into the Arena Bowl against the winner of Chicago and Spokane. Again, Spokane was the other new, was the other uh, creative team this year. Chicago was a 6-8 and eight, a six and eight squad that would have gone there last year, but now they're the, the overall 8 seed. Oh, for some reason, that's, oh, that's safety right there. All right, just because it was a safety, I'll give Tampa a little bit of a chance here to, uh, yeah, I'll give Tampa, I know I don't need to do that for the home team, but I'll, I'll give Tampa some, just the drive, just so I can get him a quick touchdown to Lawrence Samuels. That way you can at least get some touchdown on the board. I like doing that at least once a game if I can. All right. Ordway. A couple of returns down about the 20. Yeah, they're not going to come. Wait, I, no, they can't come back from that. They're still dead. It's 20, 19 points. They're not coming back from that. Oh, the 2.2 point conversion would be field goal, but... Have them drop. Four, 44 seconds left in the game. Tampa Bay down 19 points. Jacksonville will be hosting the Arena Bowl against the winner of Spokane. And uh, let me just find a good play. It's for sure. Where's the cross? Oh, the cross isn't. Eh, what is it? B. Okay. Okay, so I guess that is the best catch. Like, 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 like that generic play keeps running. The, the, the middle pose is actually the best play for. Right there, 41 seconds to go up. Yeah, I'll just come out play again. Oh, that Red Dogs have most no stats, but he's not he's not a real person. Well, was, it's funny. Lawrence Samuels actually did play for the uh, New Jersey Gladiators in 2000, and there'll be touchdown right there. Just, oh, come on, don't. Fine. Oh, he dropped it. Okay, well, Red Dogs. I think it's his third drop, four catches. I'm not going for him. Uh, yeah. Again, I know the rest of the games are kind of wasting time here, trying to get a touchdown for Lawrence Samuels just because Tampa yeah, Jacksonville won. I know he usually plays Jackson for the, or the home team for the women at warning, but hey, whatever. I'm just trying to get past Lawrence Samuels. There you go. Touchdown, Lawrence Samuels. All right. Uh, uh, yeah, I'll run the two. Yeah, I'll run the two with this play. Why not? Um, you know what? No, I know exactly what I'm going to do. I know exactly what I'm going to end this game. Of course, I'm going to let the clock run, though. All right. So I'll see if I can make it a 45-34 game, but I'll do it with the cheap, with another really super cheap play. Tampa, and now the super cheap play, let me find that. Let me actually show you what I mean. Look at that speed. 53 overall speed. That's pretty slow. So even with that court, with, with Pat O'Hare, super slow, 53 overall speed, Loop QB draw is still a guaranteed two yo, two point. It's almost an always guaranteed two point conversion. 
the loop around. Call back to like one yard on a loop. And oh wow, I've never seen that. Wait, did that, did that make it? Did that still make it? No. <laughs> I actually didn't know you could do it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was met by, by Burt, who just got, who got from behind and forth a fumble. Well, 45-32 is the final. Jacksonville is going on to the Arena Bowl. Let me see who player of the game is real quick, and then I will end the recording. Let's see. Nope. Got to be, be from Jacksonville. Nobody? Hopkins, kind of. What about in defense? Anyone be curious if on defense for Jacksonville? Hopkins with a... Yeah, I think that's good. Yeah, and drops... No, no, drop. Uh, quarterback? Uh, no, far from it for, for Dutton. Yeah, player of the game is going to go to uh, Greg Hopkins. He had two touchdowns, three catches, 61 yards, two TDs, and a pick. That's player of the game. Thank you for watching, and I will see you guys next time for the National Conference Championship. Okay. Well, I mean, the quality, it's going to be mirrored, but who cares? So here we are. Uh, yep, the game, I have my podcast co-host, and it is Spokane, Chicago at Spokane. And this is going to be the National Conference Championship. Yep. <laughs> I don't know if you can pick up uh, his audio, by the way, but should be able to pick up mine. Why do you have a team with KFC? Oh, that that one. That's actually a key, that's the Key West Fighting Roosters. Uh, oh. Yeah, it's a it's an abbre- it was an abbreviation. I, oh. I, just, I made just a bunch of generic teams, and I just and I kept some of them in before I uh, did the season to delete and edit to save some data room. Anyways, here we are. Chicago at Spokane. Chicago starting. Chicago upset Grand Rapids in the National Conference semifinals. Spokane dominated Arizona in the in the other National Conference semifinal. Winner will go to Jacksonville, who beat Tampa, who dominated Tampa Bay in the American Conference Championship game. And this is for AFL 23x 22xx. The playoffs. As soon as this game loads. Does everything? Is it, by the way, on my screen is everything like mirrored? So like, is the AFL look like LFA or whatever? No, I can see it perfectly fine. Oh, really? So it looks so it looks normal, like like the go the go. Okay, so is this does it? Yeah. Does it say rush select like normally? Because on my yeah. screen, okay, all I'm getting was like select rush, like some yeah, weird. Rush select. Okay, yeah. cool, cool. So this this will work. Gooded. Let me get my used laundry as a knee pad. Oh, I should forgot. I can just stay over here. All right, all righty. Here we go. Oh, that's my kicker. Can you hear me still? Yeah. Okay, cool, cool. All right, first play of the game. You know, no matter who wins, they're not going to win against Jacksonville. (laughs) Uh, Yeah. Going to Davis, Tutty, an almost touchdown. Let's see if I can teach you some basic stuff here. This is the most common play I'm going to get because it's just a generic play, just slap through. This is a thing yeah. called be the receiver. You can actually choose to be the receiver. Like right now, I'll be, I'll be, I'll be Damien Harrell. We're gonna pass. I can, I can actually play as a receiver on the quarterback throwing the ball. I don't Would know if you, you say can... it's easier to play as a receiver. Or no, it's way ball? harder, way harder to play oh. receiver. Like you can get a guaranteed like couple route, but with quarterback, especially if the team plays a like like I'll, I'll show you on the next drive if they do it. But uh, like right. the easiest play to do is just quarter. There you go. That worked. That usually doesn't work yep. very well. But you're going to watch a game live, and then I guess tomorrow or whenever we get everyone back in VC, I'll do the championship. Oh boy. I still got to update the arena fan page. I haven't even updated yeah. for the for the divisional round. Okay, let me turn the reform down. See, you're coming out like a sonic boom over here. That's my hand is hitting the volume, the lower volume button. My hand is increasing volume. Wait, wait, wait. Lower increase. Okay, good enough. Alright. Oh, right, forgot not to set the plan. Then setting Can, and then I'm just gonna remind myself on the next uh, Chicago offense. Chicago offense drive. I gotta get Spokane one defensive play. Ooh, damn. Oh. Pretty simple. Ooh. Yep. Rigged. <laughs> 
What do you want, Spokane? In? I I could care less. <laughs> Either way, the Sharks are the best team. Yeah, they're twelve. They're twelve and two. The winner of this game is either eight and six or nine and five. Yeah. And that's one of the easiest plays right there. Just just literally just get a, a decently fast wide receiver. And if they mm-hmm. okay, they didn't quite play cover tight, but you can just easily just use the route and just throw a bomb, easy touchdown. Yeah. Oh, and by the way, I get that like every other game, the the prompt for hey, you got a new record, save your username. I never save my username. Yeah. And now Remy Hamilton's gonna kick the extra point. And so how go. exactly do you determine how, how do you determine like the rosters and who all goes Oh, I just make on. it up as I just make it up whatever I think sounds cool. Like the I have a couple of things in mind, like a couple of players I want to keep in the league because I like playing as them. Or they like in John Dutton's case, Jackson was quarterback. He's the he's the guy in the box. He's the guy in the cover. So oh. I keep him because he's that. Like and just anyone that was notable at the time or has a, like a good stat thing. Like Dan Alexander right there. He's the he's like the all time before uh, before Derek Ross. He held all the the AFL running back records. So I always oh. just pick him. That, by the way, is like one of the easiest plays to do. Just blitz, just blitz with a linebacker. It's almost guaranteed at least to knock the ball down every time. Okay. Yeah. And, yeah, and you said there's only like 16 players you can keep in in the entire league. At, 30, like at one 32 point. custom players. So I just fill out most of the, unless that's someone really like I want to put in the league, like you know Nick Davila or Barry Wagner that's not in the actual yeah. game. Then I do create yeah. a player for him. Otherwise, okay. I just use players from other teams. Like, and sometimes okay. if I think a guy's too crappy to, to, to represent what they should have been representing, then I up their overalls. Like, in the, like with Bonner, he was 85 overalls, and I thought he was too crappy to be the, to represent the 90s Rattlers, so I made him 88. But he's still That's pretty fair. crappy. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but yeah. Yeah. I mean, okay, well, the first year, I literally took a, I took a default roster from the league and just added one player to each team. Uh, then mm-hmm. I, and the, except for uh, Jacksonville, because they were a custom team that was just, like, the all-star mishmash of everybody that wasn't already on a team. So I gave them, yeah. like, like, like Aaron Garcia at quarterback, uh, div, um, stuff like that. One idea I've always had if I ever end up investing in this game is uh, I would have, like, I'd make, like, a list of some of the greatest players in AFL history, the 32 greatest, and get a bunch of people, and they can each be, like, a representative of, like, one team in AFL history and they all just like hold a draft for all those players that would be awesome but I mean the, the good news is on that you already have a couple of guys who are already on the all time greatest teams like Dar- like like Aaron Garcia or Bonner or yeah, like the only other creative players I've ever made other than like the, the players I do in every game which are the 450 like in every sports game i ever had the first two career plays I always make is uh, gotta go fast. It's just basically like maximum speed stats. Everything else is crap except for speed, and it's basically just yeah. Sonic. And then, uh, and then a guy I, I name just just, just, just so I always change the name, but it's basically a fat guy who's got maximum weight. Uh, every category that that you think a lineman would need is ninety nine. Everything else is sixty nine because nice. Yeah, uh, it is nice. Yeah, and then like the, the the max weight, max height. So he's like a seven foot tall, five hundred pound dude who. Can also who's also really good at juking people out or whatever. Yeah. And the other, and the other custom guys they had were Wagner, uh, oh, Her- Hunky Cooper. He was the Rattlers' like best receiver in the nineties. Mm-hmm. Um, trying to think of the other dudes I had. Uh, oh, I'm not gonna mention. I think that was. Oh yeah. Also, then I made Joe Hills a player, and I made a uh, Kurt Warner a player. Yeah. Because you got to have you know the Superman, and then the most famous Marineford player of all time. Oh, of course. You want to look the funny thing? What? So you know how like this game is like the historical teams, right? Yeah. Pick, what number do you think Iowa's historical team quarterback would be? Uh, ninety. <laughs> no, no, not overall. It's like like the jersey number. Oh, thirteen. Nope, it's fourteen. But the backup's thirteen. Why the? Who? I don't know. Who do, who do they have their quarterback as? Uh, every it's you know how like NCAA games like they just use like generic number generic whatever. Yeah. Like they just did that for everybody. Like everyone and every team is uh-huh. basically the same. Just some are better than others. Some are worse than others. So oh, okay. like 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 they're actually one of the worst teams in the game, uh, Iowa, because they got they got like no like the quarterback's like eighty overall and seventy five overall. Oh. Yeah. I know way too much about this damn game. Also, I'm not even paying attention. So, like, when you create a team from scratch, what does the roster look like? Is it just random overalls? 
Uh, you got you got three. You got f uh, four choices. D cupcake, which means they're all really bad. Uh, juggernaut, which means they're all really good. Balance, which means they're kind of above the road, kind of average. And then a fantasy team, which is you just pick a random assortment of players in the game. Okay. Yeah. So that's why I, that, that's why I did Jacksonville and Spokane. I just did fantasy team and then picked a bunch of random players. Like obviously, like you're not gonna get Mayfield as a generic because he's actually in the game for the Dallas Desperados. Yeah. Yeah. But I mean, this this name and this is still some good uh, like names in here. Like there's Monty Montgomery right there for a for um. Who is it? Uh, Chicago, uh, Sp Spokane. It's an actual yeah. player name. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then we think team by, and then uh, and then for other cases, I just like like in twenty one XX, I just made the teams like try to go with a story and shit, like like drama and stuff, which didn't really work out because you know I had like like hey Michael Bishop is now on the rival uh, yeah. of of the grand Ra of the team he was on last year because beef. Um, mm -hmm. But generally, like if I if I bring a team in, I just try to keep them as close as possible to their real team while keeping a couple of stars in the league if I can. Like yeah. next year, if I do it next year, I'm not gonna have I'm only gonna have six teams that are actually in the original game. Uh, and I mean, there's more than six. There's only like six like famous quarterbacks like Grebe, Garcia, Dozell, um, Dutton just because he's the cover guy, and Bonner yeah. and B and Bishop because he's fast, and then Davila because. Eh, I made him. Might as well make him, make him a little better. Oh hi, yeah. welcome. Spoil. 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 Who are you? What are you doing? Oh, I'm simming we're, the AFL 22 XX. You want? You want? Yeah, winner plays Jacksonville. Yeah, I'm actually recording well, who, right now. Who's too. who is who's in this game? Spokane and Chicago. Spokane. Yeah. Chicago is six and eight. They upset Grand Rapids in the first round. Uh, Spokane is two is uh, eight and six. They crushed Arizona in their first round. I beat Skill and he's upset. I thought so. So we need to kick the bot out of here because now that there's four people, uh, the thing is vertical, so I can't really see it. Or it's in like. You just have to type in mode. P. Do you need me to type in P skip? I'll do that at halftime. No, I just, I just did it. Okay, cool. Ben just right, yeeted cool. the bot. I just yeeted the bot. <laughs> yeah, hi, Jay. Okay, so now. I beat skill 2322. Oh, and he got, and he got. Oh, by the way, this is the player I'm talking about. You never want to play cover tight. Because like, because all I can do, do cause there's no safety help in this game, like like in the NFL. Mm -hmm. So all you have to do is just call the streak, throw a bomb. It's almost a guaranteed catch. Just a, a guaranteed 30, 40 yards, like every time. Unless they're even mm -hmm. if like they were like the cornerback bumps the guy. Yeah. Yeah. And I just decided to leave skill alone. Yeah. Yeah, he seems uh very easy to piss off. Yeah. Wait, did you make Spokane in this game? Yeah, I did. Spokane. Custom team. I just I went to I I took their I took a, I looked up Spokane 2015 uniforms and then I tried to make to replicate that as best I could. Wait, what's their logo? Uh, to buzz the buzz sock is the closest I could find to their shock logo. Really, they didn't have a logo that was just an S. Nope, they didn't. That, that, well, that's only in Madden of this era. All they had were a bunch of you could use any AFL logo from the current 18 teams plus the New Orleans Voodoo, and then you could also use uh, a bunch of generic logos. I like that generic Kansas City logo they have. Yeah. KC. Well, I mean, you know why, right? They did that, right? Yeah. Yeah. Do you know why, Jayhawk? Was it, weren't they like an expansion team? Uh, they, It was an expansion team, and EA didn't know whether or not they're going to, uh, they were going to have the Kansas City as the 18th team or New Orleans as the 18th team. So they just kind of went in the middle. Instead of going with the Kansas City Brigade, their actual name, they just went with the Kansas City and a generic KC logo. With the right yeah, colors, because they knew you the plays the zero and zero KC. Mm-hmm. But they did have the actual roster from the uh, from that actual team. Also, I gotta play Chicago now. Cause ben, now that you mentioned an NCAA like football tournament, I kind of want to do that now. Yeah. Yeah. Like, how would you advise doing well, the bracket? Like, I was, I always do like geographically. Like, for instance, Washington will always play Washington State in the first round. Or again, Oregon State in the first round. Um, like, and Boise State, Idaho. Or, um... Well, I only do the Power 5 teams. Oh. But it would be cool to do a 130-team uh, all-FBS. It's 130-team I mean, might... in that game? 
Yeah. No, but you can import teams. Oh, okay. Who, who should I use for... I, I might do that, actually. Who should I use for imports, though? Well, let's see. For 100, well, I know 128 teams would be a perfect bracket, would be a perfect even bracket with no play-in games. So how many other... Ba- what, what game are you trying to sim with? Are trying to do a tournament with? 14. Uh, 14 does have 128, I believe. I have actually 120 or 128. I forget which one they have. I think it's 126. Oh, okay. Well, then import Liberty, because they're not in that game, and... Um... NDSU. Well, no, no, no. I mean, like, Division 1A. Yeah, I think, but I think you're there was missing... another team oh. that's, that's joined. App I think... State. App State. Oh, oh yeah, App State. Yeah, you gotta have them in. Or I could have done... I thought Coastal. someone else was more recent than App State. Coastal than Carolina. Carolina. Just... Yeah, Coastal, Coastal Carolina. Carolina. Yeah, well, I mean... The I Chanty think Clears. Yeah, the, oh, yeah, the, chant, the Shanties. <laughs> the, the... So I'll do Liberty and then either Coastal or App State. App. You gotta do apps. See, but the thing is, I don't want the roster to be like juice because you could do that. Well, yeah, but I, I mean, don't, I don't want it to be like a ninety-nine overall. Okay, well, Jayhawk, you... I want I want to get your thoughts on this one idea I had when speaking to Target Toad. Mm. So, for arena football, if I invest in the game, I would have a game mode where, um, and and this would be my version of a sim where I'd get as many people as possible to be like a representative of a team. Mm-hmm. And they all uh, draft players, and uh, I do a sim like that. It's mm. a good idea. Yeah. yeah. So, hypothetically, if I did do that, which team would you like to represent, if you would, if at all? So we're talking NCAA. No, no I'm talking about sorry, arena football. No, arena that football is 06, right? Yeah, the, the game yeah. I'm playing right now. That is and some ragdoll physics, damn. Any team in AFL history, it doesn't have to be a team that was in... Give me the New England Seawolves. For some reason, I can't explain like, the Seawolves. Would you, like, would you, like, make the team if they're not in? Yeah. I'll, I'll yeah. go easy on you, just use, just use a storm for me. I'll go easy on think you. About this one. Cause there's some funny ones, or I could do, like... Oh, that was a dipshit. Touchdown. That was a dipshit move. I'm a... <laughs> Uh, I'm not even paying attention half the, day, half the time I'm doing this because I'm just listening to y'all. Hang on, let me take a gander. I can read off the team. I can give read off the team. Uh, Columbus is the only team in Ohio if you want an Ohio team. Um, there's also... No, Ben would, Ben just said he would. I would create teams. Oh, okay. Um... Part of me wants to do like the Alabama Vipers just because they were that one one-hit wonder team. Well, the Cleveland Gladiators would be there. They just they, they you have to use the New Jersey Gladiators logo, but you could put the New, I mean, the New England the Cleveland Gladiators in the game. Ooh, no, let's do let's go classic. I'll I'll be the Cleveland Thunderbolts. Okay. You'll be the Cleveland Thunderbolts, okay? Yeah. Classic. If okay, well, you know what? Okay, and I, I know for a fact I'd be the Sharks, and Target Toad would probably be he, he did, no, he claims Sea Wolves. Yeah, I claim Sea Wolves. But, well, I mean, I'll go because the Seawolves are a custom team, but like they don't have like the old AFL logos in the created team thing. You could only use like the the the, the logos of the eighteen teams that were there that year plus New Orleans Voodoo. Um, okay, but I th- I, s- I could have swore I thought I saw something where you could like no. get old teams and that might be in in, in the PS2 ver of PS2 Road to Glory. I don't know. By the way, is your PS3 able to play? Is your PS3 able to play uh, PS2 games? Because this is probably going to be just as cheap on PS2. Doc, you're probably, you're probably even better off using Arena Football Road to Glory as a sequel. Uh, let me check. Who the heck? Do, do you have any PlayStation 2 oh, games? Oh, wait, what type of PS3 do I need to be able to play it? Uh, the original, not the not the PS3 Slim. If it's a PS3 so Slim... Knows, but who were the Miami Fights? They were a... Um, they were a team that was they, supposed to join, they, that was supposed to be in the 1987 season and played one promotional game against the Rockfield... They were supposed to play a promotional game against the Rockfield Metros, like the AFL test game, but they decided not to do that. And they decided not to put it in Miami. They, they played just put the one fourth game team. in 87. They no, played one they was, game it was, in 87. It was a test game, but it wasn't like an official game. The first official game that was played, uh, was, I believe, was Chicago and Pittsburgh. It was a showcase game in 87 against the Bruisers. Yeah, but they weren't a real team. Like they, I think their roster got became the uh, Maryland Commandos roster. Okay, so Target Toad, you said I have to have the original to be able to do it. Uh, you can do it. You can do it in Road to Glory. You just yeah. Oh, PS3. Yeah, I think you need the PS3 original. I don't really know. Damn it! I have the Slim. Oh, uh, do, uh, I'm trying to think. Just look up cheap PS2 game, buy it, and then put it in your PS3 Slim and see what it does. 
Yeah. Like, don't buy, don't I mean, buy Road to Glory or emulators. I'll try and download those maybe. I wouldn't do that. I would just do a uh, oh, crap. Look up, look up. I don't know. Is is there like? I, I might actually just go ahead and buy it because I mean it's legit like three bucks on eBay. Oh, okay, yeah, I'll then do it. He, arena football, either one works. I think, but I think the uh, arena football that has the the guy for the Colorado on the cover is going to be a lot cheaper than the one that has the Chicago guy on the cover. Yeah, Bob Excuse McMillan. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I, oh yeah, that, that one is like thirty that bucks. That one's really, really expensive. I know. Yeah. For the glory. Sucks. So, that one's only on the PS2. Yeah, right, yeah that was see. only on the PS2. Look. Yeah. So Those if I boys. wanted the game, I had my PS2. I mean, you got Arena Football Xbox. Which, if I, it, no, I need the, the, the hard drive. The um, hard disk. Hard disk, yeah. I could buy it right now and get it by Thursday if I wanted. Yeah, might as well. And I might do I mean, honestly. Yeah, do it. If it works for your PS3, if it works for your PS3, might had, as well. I mean, I got a gift card that has like five bucks on it and it's not shit else I'm going to get, so why not? Yeah, I might as well. And worst Honestly, case, I mean, maybe buy like another, like look up, uh, I don't know, some, I don't know. Look up, if I, see how much NFL Blitz Pro costs, and that'll tell you what my favorite football game growing up as a kid was. I don't know how much it costs, though. If it's, if it's worth more than two, if it costs more than two bucks, don't get it. But if, you, if, like, if, the, if yeah. the extra amount from your $5 gift card can make up for it, then get it, or whatever. I don't yeah. know. I don't know, man. Honestly, if I had the money, I would buy PS2 and Road to Glory. Yeah, I, I, I mean, I, I got the Xbox version. I've never even used. A, I think I used a PlayStation controller literally once and had no idea what the buttons were. Because I know they, they don't use letters for buttons. They use like like shapes and stuff. I don't know. My my uh, smooth brain cannot handle that. The concept of shapes as buttons. What what is this sorcery? Smooth brain. Yes, smooth brain. I know. I know some of the. Where's your mean... wrinkle check? Wave check. <laughs> wrinkle check. Also, it looks like Spokane's gonna win this game. Mm. Imagine getting scalped and then they say, "Oh, wave check." <laughs> now I just imagine like 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 eighteen thirty whatever. You're in the middle of like Wyoming, and suddenly like a bunch of Native Americans are all like, "Hey, get off my land!" But but they don't speak English because you know they never heard English because they just they you speak know these Ginga. I guess yeah. They they speak their they speak their Native American language, and then like five minutes later, you get your head chopped off because you know you're you fuck their girl or whatever, you know. And then they they chop they scalp your head and then like they and then, they, and then they suddenly out of the middle of nowhere what should I do they just go uh, uh wave check wave check like in perfect English <laughs> That'd yeah be fun okay so for this NCAA tournament how should I set this up um do one hundred twenty eight teams one hundred twenty eight Put the games for put the early games. Put like I round one do, games in like two minute time. That way it doesn't take. Like, no, no, I can do, I can do four brackets of thirty two. Yeah, the way I would do is make the first the first round should always just be a uh, power five versus not power five for the first round. Like one huh? power because I think you have an equal amount of power five and not power five, and you see them. Okay, your mic is what the fuck out. is my wallet? No oh, shit. Uh, okay, crap. Give me a second. Can you guys hear me better now? It's kind of muffled. Okay. Um, here's what I would do. I would have round one be uh, at power five versus not power five. But like, and then Wait, seed so power the five versus group of five? Yeah. But like that, the first round. And then seed them all. And then seed them all. Oh, that's a fumble. And that's Chicago ball. Yeah, I, I do, do like a march... I could do like a March Madness style. It's not March. <laughs> it's illegal. It's illegal to do that when it's not March. All right, I'll do it. Tell that. To, tell that. Tell that. Madness. To the, tell that to hockey because they call it May Madness for their sixteen Frozen Four tournament. I could, did that get canceled or what's up with that? No, well that got canceled for this year. But like normally they do their like I think hockey does their turn their college hockey tournament in May. And the yeah, only Frozen reason 4. I know that is because somehow I got free tickets to the Frozen Four. I didn't go where, because where was it? Tampa. They played it in. Why yeah, would they? I don't know. I literally do not know. How do you get free tickets? I don't know how. I don't even okay, remember. Well, in Tampa, was in a... Tampa NHL. My dad probably would have killed for those. No, f- f- college See, hockey. The... No, yes. the thing is, NHL does that. 
NHL is great in Tampa, but college hockey is not popular in the South. Well, the only what? college hockey teams south of the of a, the only college hockey teams south of like Missouri are Alabama, Huntsville, and Arizona State, both of which are See, independent. Neither one of which have is, ever actually done anything and have never gotten to a tournament. The, the no, they've, is, they've my dad they follows suck. every single Michigan sport. He oh, Michigan wasn't it. in the tournament that year, dude. Uh oh. I think the Never final mind. was like Boston College and Boston U for the fifth straight year. I um, know a really good Southern school. UJA is really good at hockey, I think, but UJA. they're club level. No, no, this is like actual NCAA level. I'm talking NCAA level. I don't yeah, know about I club know, level but anything, but. Honestly, club level everywhere is hockey. Even Florida schools have yeah, no, club I, level. I don't like, it, I, it, I, you know, my favorite college sport is uh, college cornhole. That's a thing? Is that, is that in like the Midwest? No, it's like southeast. Wow, it's mostly just SEC schools. Figures they What's just be No, bowling is the Midwest thing, isn't it? Yeah, that's like the Midwest. Yeah, yeah with sport. Duquesne. Like, yeah, Nebraska is really good at bowling. Yeah. I think. I have literally called this one play the entire game. Oh, touchdown! This is gonna be a touchdown. This is gonna touch on to... Watch it not be a touchdown. Go to check out. Let's check out. Yes. No, oh, not a touchdown. Well, it's oh, yeah, close yeah, enough. I it. That was a touchdown. I did too because you know, I mean, it's it, it, they called the tight coverage. I'm immediately gonna call the um, the what is it? The uh, the the change the one the hot route that changes a to a streak. Um, are I'm you, not gonna do that right now. Me, I think I'm gonna. I'll do four brackets of thirty-two. You should do. Yeah, I would. I mean, the other idea well, the, you could okay, do would be. How do I... How do I decide seeing? Um, just go to start start a dynasty mode and just manually count like uh, like who's ranked and all that. Like, cause they actually do like a preseason one thirty whatever. Yeah, they that's do that. Yeah. Use that as a generic ranking, or do what okay, I did huh, for what? the uh, NCA for my arena football bracket, where I looked at the teams' overalls and uh, manually wrote them out and like average and like counted them all Jay up. Huck, what if I told you that I that I might have accidentally since expired whey protein to your house? <laughs> literally cheese cheese hypothetically of course of course hy- 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 hypothetically of course everything is good in hypotheticals it's expired you'll die if you take it but what, what if I told you I did no 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 you won't die if you'll take it you'll get a magic hey. come on Ben you're supposed to hey. Ben you're ruining the plan I'm, oh yeah you'll get magic. I'm puzzled powers. with this map here it's on, it's from May 15th, 2016, but there's no old Dominion on here. Wait, so Target Toad, your team would be the New England Sea Wolves? Uh, yeah, sure, why not? I'll, all right, I'll be the Houston Thunder Bears. Of course, we, we you gotta do meme team. You gotta do the meme team. I mean, that's basically how I picked out my teams for AFL 20XX. Just let's see, what were what were funny teams in league history? Obviously, yeah. you gotta have the rivals. Uh. You gotta have New England because they kept winning my tournaments. Like every time I do a tournament in this game, New England always won. I don't even know how. Even like my like CPU CPU New England won. I couldn't even explain it. Uh, right. Um, let's think of the other thingies. By the way, can you guys see the game at all? Just making sure. Hello? Can you guys see the game? I just want to make sure it's working. Yes. Yeah. Okay, yeah. good. We can see it. Okay, yes. good. So, let me see if I can find something. All right, so what is does that Does that text say EA Sports, or is it, like, backwards? Like, the text, the text on the... Here. You see it's that? It's perfect. Okay, good. I just want to make sure. I just want to make sure. Does it, I'm just kind of curious. Does it look better look than my normal recording video for, like, for this shit? Yeah. Okay, good. That's that's what my goal was. And I'm gonna have a peanut commentators in VC. Yay for the championship. My, I don't know if I'm gonna do that like tomorrow night or just or set it up for yeah, July I'm, 17th. I'm, I'm gonna play. get a re- arena football. I'm gonna buy it right now because there's a ton of tutorials showing how to play uh, PS2 games on the PS3 Slim. So I should be good. Oh, okay, cool, cool. Now, if only we could play against each other, that would be epic. Yeah. To be honest, this is the one game I actually would feel confident playing, just because I know I've played the game way much, way too much. So I know all, of, I know all the yeah, plays. Yeah. I know, I know, we I know what plays. Mess with the seat. Everything else. Yeah, you probably would. This, you win. Yeah, 
the only two football games that <laughs> would ever the only two sports games that ever claim to be better than anyone else in the server are are, are NFL Blitz 2000 and this game. Because I, I love yeah. NFL Blitz. That 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 maybe I mean I beat Nate and Tecmo. I, I cream Nate and Tecmo though. By the way, Jayhawk, we never play Tecmo. Yeah. And with quality. Wait, isn't Tecmo on like the Switch? Yeah, like the old, like the old, like the like the old NES one. Yeah, it's on the Switch. But it's not the good. It's it's the it's the I'm, okay I'm... one, but not the super good one. It's like the, the kind of good one. Oh, okay. The super good one I, is the I one. I might get that. Yeah. Well, if you have a Switch, yeah, it will be the way you got to get that is you got to pay for the Switch online, like the X, like it's like it's, it's the Nintendo equivalent of Xbox Live or PSN Plus. How? It's How twenty bucks a year. Do? Twenty bucks a year. But you get unlimited access to a couple NES games and a couple SNES games. Oh. Yeah, but the, but the but the catalog's really random and usually kind of bad. Oh. Also, this game's decent. I mean, it's not a hood. It's like a okay. It's not a hood classic. It's a, a, a suburban classic. No, it's a gated community oh, classic. Oh shit! It's it was a gated... close. What I happened? Almost, I almost paid with my actual card. Ooh, that was oh. a close one. What's that? What's the? What's the? You know, like the white brow, wipe sweat off brow thing? The who? The what? I don't know. It's like a, I don't know. It's like a meme. Maybe it's not my meme. It's like an image of like a guy, like 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 a, like one of them clip art things. Where it's like a guy like wiping the sweat off his brow, going <laughs> dodged one. I mean, I mean, I know that pi- there's that picture of uh, Jordan Peele like sweating like crazy. That that meme would work in this situation. Yeah, yeah it would. All right, confirm and pay. Here we go. Don't decline my car. Don't decline my car. Don't decline my car. I swear I have five seventy four on it. Fuck. Uh, you declined it. Supposedly, yeah. Did you put the numbers hmm. in right? Did it expire or something? I uh, it doesn't expire till twenty twenty seven. So I don't oh, think it expired. Card number forty thirty four. Oh, I'm not going to tell you guys the card number. That's a bad idea. <laughs> <laughs> ben, not to mention you'd be telling all five people besides you two that view this, which oh, I don't think. Jeez. Uh, I think Big Boy Variety comment on one of mine. Oh no, no, it wasn't Big Boy Variety. It was, it was generic spammers. Like they get the hey, nice, nice. You did a good. I like your video. Please go to my business to improve your video or something like that. And yeah, it's one minute warning. So much hard run the ball with Spokane. I don't think I've actually run the ball yet, at all. One minute For warning. anyone who cares, this card declines in, or uh, expires in November 2027. So if you guess the code, yeah. Hmm. How many numbers is it, are in the code? The code, it's three digits, like every code. Oh, the security code. Okay. Yeah, the security code. Is it one of those things that, like, oh, that that's gonna be on the back? I thought yeah. it was like the card number that was got, that was wrong, not the security oh, code. The card, yeah, yeah sixteen oh. digits, like every code. <laughs> Right off the bar, sorry, right, right the bar ball. Well, literally a bar ball in that case, instead of the net ball, bar ball. Yeah. And because it's again final minute, final minute of a half, I'm gonna play a Spokane's defense to try to get try to get the win over Chicago and the Nash for the right to go to the Arena Bowl and play Jacksonville. Baron, come on, come on, check out, come on, come on, complete my purchase, please eBay, please, come on, come on, come on. This is a very lucrative deal. Yes, it, it went worked. Through. How much yes. is left on your card? Uh, well, let's see. What's well, five seventy four minus four twenty five? All right, so one forty nine. A buck forty nine. Yep. Yeah, buck forty nine. You can buy a bag of chips. Okay, I might do that then. I'm gonna go on eBay and search that now. <laughs> uh. The cheapest thing I ever bought on eBay was a uh, let's see, it was a pack of masks like like literally three years ago, um, for for uh, I think it was a hundred you know, it was a hundred masks for a dollar, for like two dollars. Legit, I, I can't China. even buy a bag of chips on eBay. Oh my gosh! Make sure you're buying the small the the the, the fun no, size. I, I literally did sort by price. The cheapest one is two ninety nine. Okay, what about uh, M and M's? You should probably buy one pack of M and M's. You know, eBay probably isn't the best place to buy all this stuff, but yeah. You know, I mean, come on, you a pack of M and M. Oh damn, you this know, is the worst place just, to buy I'll, this I'll stuff. I'll just read. I'll just read the number for anyone who wants it. It's a buck forty nine. What do I care? Wait, 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 wait. Are you really gonna? Okay, I mean, I'm gonna be. I'm gonna be. Run, this is gonna get slapped on the end of the Jacksonville game I recorded like a week ago. 
Last frag. Yeah. Fumble, Alexander, and that's gonna be. Oop, he's got it. Twenty-three seconds left in the game. Fourth down and fourteen for Chicago. Come on, let's go, Chicago. Come on. Six Come and on, eight, Chicago rush. versus uh versus eight and six, Spokane. And I can very. I'm not gonna root. I'm gonna. I'm not gonna root for anyone just to not curse the Sharks. Yeah. Why would you not wait for the time to tick down to kick? CPU. You idiot. Oh. Not me. CPU. Oh, well, that's gonna be. Oh, bar ball. A bar ball. I'm gonna go back to ten. I'm gonna go back to ten. Oh, I'm gonna no, call a timeout. We didn't have a repeat of Bama Auburn. <laughs> no, I've, I've, I, I, in the many times I played this game, I've actually never gotten a kickoff return touchdown, like a missed field goal return touchdown. Never actually gotten that. Oh. Okay, I'm gonna try. What's a quick play before I get a field goal attempt going? Something. All right. Super well, I'm gonna. I, oh, I know. What I'm gonna call. After the game, it's I'm gonna, gonna read off the details to anyone who wants it because why not? Okay. Cool. Uh, let me get. I mean, where's that super sh quick play? I can just run. Wait, where is it? Uh, dun, 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 dun. Ba, 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 ba. All right, here you go, flat. Run this. Hopefully, I get tackled in like a second. I can call a timeout. Okay, it's quick cover. Yeah, I'll do. I'll do. I'll do it. I get like that. Nash, incomplete. Two seconds. Mm -hmm. I'm just gonna go for the field goal. And if I miss, then we're going to overtime. Yeah. Here we go. So this is gonna be a fifty-something yard kick for the right to go to the. Championship game. All right. Oh, that's looking like a 58 yarder. 58 yarder. Here we go. Ooh, not gonna get, not gonna get it. But it did have the length, just not the accuracy. Nope, not oh. the accuracy. Had the length. Did it have the length? Oh, it didn't even have the length. And now we're going oh. overtime. Now we're going overtime. Yay. Overtime in the American and yeah, the National Conference Championship game. First overtime playoff game. I think it's only like the fourth or fifth overtime game this season. So out of like ninety games, five or six overtimes. Although one game Not did go bad. double overtime. One game did go double overtime. I think that was a, I think it was Arizona New England game. I think New England won that. I don't remember. Yeah. Again, now that's overtime. I'm all time defense. Of course. Also, Jacksonville did a stupid because they won the toss and picked offense. When in Arena League, you actually want to be the defense. Idiots. Yeah. <laughs> oh man! And the winner of this game plays twelve. Goes to Jacksonville to play twelve and two Jacksonville. And it'd be kind of funny if it had the t two created teams there. Yeah. I guess other interesting thing I can mention it. Uh, Spokane expansion. Uh, let's see. Jacksonville. They were in the playoffs in twenty XX, and that's touchdown. That's game. That's instantly game. Mm -hmm. Washburn's wow. definitely player of the game. I don't even know, but insta. Uh, that's game. I because each team catch touch, touch the ball once and well, guess who touched the ball once? That 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 is, I'm not even gonna attempt the extra point. There you go, game. <laughs> Normally it's like it's like like one one possession after each possession, then it goes sudden death if it's tied. And but touchdown done at the end of the game. But now it's 49 42 is your final. Spokane wins in overtime. Marcus Nash is player of the game according to the game. I don't count that. Um, mm -hmm. let me see stats. All right, Ben. As I'm doing, the, as I'm counting up the stats, go ahead and read out your uh, your okay. code for uh, your card. Uh, I can read the just, just for the, just for poops and gigs. Of course. Forty thirty four, forty six fifty one, twelve oh seven, thirty two oh seven, five eighty eight. Well, there you go, people. If you got that, there you go. Oh, uh, eleven twenty seven. I don't know if I include that part. Well, there, hey, there you go. So that that's the scoreboard. That's the summary. Individual, let's see what this is. Okay, P, they got him. You gotta that. unscramble that to find out what it is. Good luck. <laughs> let's see. Where was that guy that got the fumble? I got the fumble recovery. Well, Ronnie Washburn got the got literally just one play as a backup lineman and then makes it perfect. Field goal attempts. That's game started. Passing. Six for night. That's actually a pretty good performance, but he lost. Not doing that for not counting that for a playoff game. Not enough touchdowns. Yeah. Two no drop. Yeah, he's probably player of the game. I'd say Nash. Yeah, Nash. Nash is player of the game. Right, let me check stats. Three or two on the turnover. Spokane led that. Total offense. Jet, sh rush led. And I'm going to end the recording. Thank you for watching. So the Arena Bowl will be Arena Bowl 22 X will be Spokane at Jacksonville. Oh yes. The only two good AFL teams that came out of the AFL 2.0 era. 